everybody, this is Praxis, and today I am trying to finish up all the remaining work that I'm utilizing the scaffolding for over on the east wall. And that is really putting in the rest of the bolts that are holding up the nailer that I'm going to be using for the greenhouse roof. Uh, and uh, I've run out of the one-foot bolts. I cleared out the store when I was there. I bought all the one-foot bolts that they had. And by bolts, I, I really just mean threaded rod. I bought a bunch of threaded rod. They had a number of pieces of one foot, uh, and that was what I needed, is one foot pieces. Uh, and the rest I'm just making up with three foot pieces. Uh, hacksawing through metal is not my favorite thing in the world to do. Uh, it's time consuming, and I guess it's, it's good exercise at the very least. Um, I cut off one earlier this morning, and I put that up. And I've got to do another one, but I, as I was going through it, this this blade here is just it's just getting too old and that's what I want to talk about today is having spare stuff whenever you're uh, you know going to be doing a project like this uh, it's it's just a good idea to have spares and whether that's a spare hammer or a spare tape measure and certainly spare things that clearly wow some of the teeth are actually I can visibly see that they're missing um, certainly things that wear out like extra blades for a hacksaw are uh, it's a little tight uh, Okay, there we go. Uh, they're good things to have on hand. Um, I didn't have any on site, so I had to run back. Uh, I had to give L River lunch anyway. He's back playing with Amber this morning. But uh, I went back and I was able to get, because I have in my pantry, well, my nice general storage area that also has my pantry in it, I got plenty of extra blades. So picked up one of those and now I'm gonna be able to kind of easily cut through that. And I, I think that's really important. I mean, that's kind of a prepper thing to do. Uh, you know, having spare stuff, and I think uh, people into preparedness are oftentimes into having plenty of emergency supplies, but one of the things that I love best about, you know, prepper lifestyle is, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff where if you run out of something, you haven't really run out because you just gonna have to run to your utility room, whether that's like, you know, you're doing a recipe and you, you run out of flour in your kitchen and you just have to go into your pantry to get more instead of going to the store, or if it's hacksaw blades, it's, it's just, there's a real level of convenience for people that are into preparedness because you're prepared for all sorts of things, and not just aliens invading by airdropping bird flu infected clown zombies, you're also prepared for running out of sharpness on your hacksaw blade. Did I do it the right way? No, I put it on backwards. Hacksaw blades have a direction. You do the cutting when you push. So I gotta flip it around. <laughs> you don't have to see that part though. Thanks for watching.